Hey guys, it's Pastor Wardell, and I want to show you something about a plant. I'm here in my garden. This is all my wonderful plants that uh, Mrs. Wardell and I have planted. And this right here is a tiny seed. Can you see that tiny seed in my, in my hands? It's just one seed, but I want to show you something else. This one seed is just like all these seeds you see every little green circle on your can on your screen those are all seeds there must be like a hundred of them on here maybe even more than that and what happens is when one of these seeds gets planted in the ground it can produce a whole bunch more seeds that's how we get new plants so in order to do that we got to take a seed dig a little hole in the ground put it in there Make sure it's in there nice and good, and then water it. And then a plant will grow with more seeds. Did you know that Jesus said exactly that about his word? Here's what it says. In Matthew chapter 13, verse, 20, uh, verse 23, he says, But the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. You know, if one of these seeds, if it falls on this wooden piece right here, well, that's not going to make any more seeds. And if one of these seeds, if I just eat it, well, that's not going to that's not gonna make any more seeds, but if it falls on here and we cover it up and we let it grow, it will produce even more seeds. You know what Jesus is teaching you? He's showing you that if you hear God's word and you just let it bounce off, you're just thinking about something else or you're just like singing a little song in your head, that's like putting God's word on a piece of wood. It's not gonna do anything. It's like putting a seed on a piece of wood. But if you hear God's word, you hear about Jesus, you hear the songs about like Jesus loves me or, or about how Jesus died on the cross to take away your sins. And you, and you think about it. And you don't throw it away, but you, you think about it. And, and you understand, oh, that's for me. Well, guess what? Then you won't just have one little moment of, of joy and peace, but you could have 60 or 30 or 100 times just like the seeds produce more and more. So our relationship with God will produce more and more when God puts that seed in our heart like a seed in good soil. So here's my challenge for you. I want you and your family maybe to find one Bible verse that you like to read. You can open it up to the Bible at random and read one or you can search out your favorite Bible verse. Read one Bible verse when this is done and think about it and then ask a question about it and then pray about it. That way God's word can get in your heart and produce a crop. Think about it, ask a question about it, pray about it, and I'll see you next week.